What would happen if an 11.0 magnitude earthquake struck a region near a tectonic plate boundary? Let's delve into the realms of the unimaginable and explore the seismic shockwaves of this speculative scenario. Imagine the Earth's crust, that solid bedrock beneath our feet, suddenly convulsing with a force beyond comprehension. An 11.0 magnitude earthquake is not just an earthquake, it's a planetary event. To put it into perspective, it's over 31 times more energetic than one of the largest earthquake ever recorded. The 9.0 magnitude 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan. The seismic intensity of this event would be off the charts. Buildings, once symbols of human achievement, would crumble like sandcastles in the wake of the relentless shaking. Roads would buckle, bridges would collapse and landscapes would be forever altered as the Earth's crust is violently disrupted. This is not a localized event. The shaking would extend over large distances the seismic waves rippling outwards like the aftershocks of a colossal stone thrown into a pond. Multiple cities, even entire regions, would feel the Earth's wrath. The aftershocks, numerous and potent, would follow the main quake like a cruel echo, each one a reminder of the initial devastation, hindering rescue efforts and adding to the already unimaginable destruction. And it wouldn't stop there. Given the likely location along a subduction zone, where one tectonic plate is forced beneath another, the chances of a tsunami are alarmingly high. These colossal waves would radiate across the ocean basins. Their destructive force felt along coastlines and islands far from the earthquake's epicenter. The ground rupture would be catastrophic, the movement along the fault line displacing the Earth's crust over a vast area. The topography of the affected region could be irreversibly altered, the familiar contours of the landscape lost to this seismic upheaval. The ground beneath us would convulse and quake with a force beyond our imagination, reshaping our world in an instant. This is the unimaginable quake, a reminder of the raw, unbridled power of our living planet. As the Earth stills, the echoes of the disaster remain in the form of aftershocks. These are not mere tremors, but powerful shakes that follow the main shock of an earthquake. Imagine a pebble tossed into a pond. The initial splash is the earthquake and the ripples spreading outwards, the aftershocks. These echoes of the main quake can be strong enough to bring down already weakened structures, turning ruins into rubble. The unpredictability of their occurrence and intensity adds an extra layer of fear and uncertainty to an already devastated region. Rescue efforts become a race against time, as each aftershock poses potential danger to both the rescuers and those trapped in the wreckage. Recovery operations too are complicated, the need for immediate shelter, medical aid and basic necessities becomes even more pressing, as the aftershocks continue to disrupt the restoration of essential services. The echoes of the earthquake would continue to reverberate, a grim reminder of the initial catastrophe. But the disaster doesn't end with the shaking. Next, the tsunami strikes. This monstrous wave is no ordinary oceanic occurrence. Born from the violent stirrings of the Earth's crust, it hurtles across the open ocean at jetliner speeds, its destructive potential growing with each passing moment. The tsunami, a direct consequence of our imagined 11.0 magnitude quake, would radiate outward from the epicenter. As it approaches shallower coastal waters, the wave height swells, transforming into a towering wall of water. Imagine this, a skyscraper of water moving at incredible speeds, ready to unleash its fury upon the land. Coastlines and islands in its path would face unthinkable devastation. Homes, infrastructure, entire communities could be swept away in a matter of minutes, leaving behind a landscape forever altered. The human toll, unimaginable. Survivors would be left to navigate a world reshaped by water, their lives forever marked by the day the tsunami struck. A wall of water birthed by the quake would wash away all in its path. The quake not only shakes the earth but also rips it apart. As the tectonic plates grind and lurch beneath us, the ground rupture begins. This isn't your average crack in the pavement. We're talking about a vast gaping chasm altering the familiar landscapes into unrecognizable terrains. Imagine living on a floating puzzle, and suddenly, the pieces decide to rearrange themselves. That's ground rupture for you. The colossal force of the earthquake causes the Earth's crust, our solid ground, to displace over an extensive area. 
hills might become valleys and valleys might rise to become hills as if Mother Nature herself is playing a game of chess with the Earth's topography. And it doesn't stop there. These ruptures can break pipelines, disrupt transportation and sever communication lines, hindering relief efforts when they're needed most. Our solid ground would split and rupture a testament to the force of nature. An earthquake of this magnitude doesn't just affect the local area, it shakes the entire world. Imagine the sheer power of an 11.0 magnitude earthquake. With such a colossal release of energy, the consequences would indeed be global. The impact wouldn't be confined to the immediate vicinity of the quake. It would reverberate around the globe, quite literally shaking our world to its very core. The energy transmitted through the Earth's crust could potentially alter the planet's rotation. Yes, you heard that right. The Earth might spin slightly differently, while the change would be microscopic. It's a staggering possibility to contemplate, but the effects of such a catastrophic event wouldn't stop at the Earth's rotation. The violent shaking could trigger other geological phenomena. Landslides on an unprecedented scale could reshape landscapes far from the earthquake's epicenter. Mountains might crumble, valleys could form, and whole sections of land could be permanently displaced. And what about our oceans? The massive displacement of the seafloor could set off colossal tsunamis, not just in the immediate vicinity, but across the world's oceans. Coastal cities thousands of miles away might find themselves at the mercy of towering waves, a testament to the far-reaching effects of such a quake. Furthermore, the shockwaves could potentially activate dormant or unknown fault lines elsewhere on the planet. This could lead to a domino effect of seismic activity with the initial quake sparking a series of subsequent tremors around the globe. The environmental implications are also worth considering. The dust and debris kicked up by the quake and its after effects could impact our atmosphere, affecting weather patterns and potentially even our climate. In essence, an earthquake of this magnitude would send ripples through every aspect of our planet systems. It's a sobering reminder of the immense power that lies beneath our feet, power that can shape and reshape our world in profound ways. Such a quake would leave a lasting scar not just on the land but on the entire planet.